Here is a great story joke about love, intrigue, and the value of a ring. First, a bit of a history lesson. Forget papyrus scrolls and hemp rings. We've come a long way since ancient Egypt, where love was measured in leather and ivory. Now it's all about sparkly rocks and empty bank accounts. But hey, progress, right? So, before I get lost in a time warp, Reminiscing reads and net worth. Let me tell you about this ring. Did you know? The first wedding ring dates back to 3,000 years ago. The first recorded evidence of a formal exchange of rings between two people was found in ancient Egypt. Writings, better known as papyrus scrolls, featured couples exchanging rings made of hemp or reeds. These rings generally didn't last long and were replaced by either leather or ivory. The more expensive the material, the more love was shown to the person receiving the ring. In addition, the type of material also represented the net worth of the giver. Documented evidence showed that these rings symbolized everlasting love and commitment between two people. The circle of the ring represented no beginning and no end. The inside of the ring symbolized the future, which still applies to the symbol of rings today. Buckle up, history buffs and hopeless romantics. We've journeyed from papyrus scrolls to credit card bills, all in the name of love. This joke, unlike those ancient hemp rings, prepare you to have your funny bone mummified with laughter as we unveil a gem of a joke, an older, silver-foxed hair man walked into a jewelry store one Friday evening with a beautiful young woman at his side. He told the jeweler that he was looking for a ring so extraordinary it'll make pigeons jealous of its sparkle. For his girlfriend, the jeweler looked through his stock and brought out a $10,000 ring and showed him. His smile crinkled around the edges, eyes twinkling with mischievous intent. I'm afraid you haven't met a special request yet. At that statement, the jeweler went to his special stock and brought another ring over. Here is a stunning ring at only $40,000, the jeweler said. Her excitement crackled like popcorn in a microwave, threatening to explode in a shower of happy squeals. The old man seeing this said, We'll take it. The man patted his pockets dramatically. Oh, I seem to have misplaced my solid gold credit card today. But fret not. A humble knight always carries his trusty checkbook. I know you need to make sure my check is good. So I'll write it now, and you can call the bank Monday to verify the funds. And I'll pick the ring up Monday afternoon, the old man said. The Monday the jeweler called the old man. Sir, your check bounced higher than a yo-yo champion on Red Bull. Unfortunately, it didn't land back in my hand. I know, said the old man. But can you imagine the lovely weekend I just had? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.